everybody and welcome back to the channel Bob here thanks so much for stopping by so although we're getting into fall now we're going to be taking a look at a watch that I find gives off the summery vibes the watch is the latest version of the Dumas from Spinnaker watches now hopefully the other day you caught my video on the Aviate Hawker Harrier 2 in that video I announced I was going to be doing a giveaway of both of these watches so at the end of today's video we're going to draw two winners one for the Aviate and one for the Spinnaker. The winner of the Spinnaker is also going to get a bonus strap from our Milla watch bands. If you haven't seen my video on these, I will put a link in the description below. They're definitely worth a look. So before we get to the giveaway though, let's take a look at the Dumas. Okay, now I don't get a lot of white dial divers in, so I was happy to get the chance to spend a little time with this one. There's a total of four new colorways available. There's the black, blue, the white that we're looking at today, and then there's a yellow version that looks really cool too. The ask for these is 400 US dollars, all come out on a mesh bracelet. It's a fairly weighty bracelet. The clasp, if we can uh, just open it up here, is all milled steel you get a good click when you close it it's a quality bracelet and goes well with the overall look of the watch one thing that's nice with this style of clasp is you can adjust it easily on the fly and i'll just show you here quickly there's a little tab if you can make it out underneath of the clasp if you just pop that open you can slide this to any desired size definitely adds to the comfort when you can tweak the sizing like that the watch itself is a larger one coming in at a case width of about 43 and a half millimeters the lugs are hidden but from tip to tip it comes in at 48 millimeters the lug opening is 22 millimeters and the thickness is 15 millimeters the water resist is 300 meters we have sapphire with an ar coating and the watch is running the seiko nh35 movement between the dial and the case design, just the whole look is straight out of the 70s. I really like the way that they've outlined the hour markers and date window in black. It gives them a nice pop with that contrasting color. Helps with legibility. The accentuated minute hand is huge, but serves a purpose on a diver as the elapsed minutes is really one of the number one functions of a dive watch. I know we won't likely be using these on dives, but it still looks cool to me. The minute track and hour markers are raised, giving some depth to the dial, and just inside the hour markers is the markings for the 24 hour time. The loom is pretty darn good on this one, especially with the loomed bezel. They don't specify, but I'm guessing it's C3 and a good dose of it there too. The bezel is a 120 click bezel. Has a nice action, but it's a bit hard to grip and turn, although if you grab it at the 6 and 12, it's a little easier to get a hold of. The insert is topped with mineral crystal. Sapphire would have been better, but otherwise everything looks good and lines up the way it should. The case has that very angular design. The vertical brushwork on the case sides contrasted with the polished edges are well finished. Nice sharp lines. I didn't notice at first, but the crown is signed and seems to have kind of an inlay there, a white inlay. I'm not sure what that's made from, but I like the extra detail. The movement is pretty plain, but we do have the custom spinnaker rotor there. So let's get a look on wrist and follow that up with the draw for the watches. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And it's one of those watches that's a little deceiving when it comes to the measurements versus the wearability. Probably has something to do with the lugless case design. The one aspect where you do feel those dimensions though is the weight. Between the case and the mesh, it's a fairly heavy watch. Definitely a fun one to wear with the bright and vibrant colors though. So again, these are going for 400 US dollars. I have the discount code time to go. You can use that for 15% off. That'll bring this down to a much more attractive price. The channel, by the way, earns a small commission from orders using that code, and that'll work on any full-priced watches on their site. Any questions on the watch, let me know in the comments below, but let's get this off wrist, and we'll get both of the prizes in and get to the draw. Okay, so I think what we'll do is draw for the Aviate Hawker Harrier 2 Ace of Spades Edition first. I'm using a random comment picker to select the winner, and the winner of the Aviate is... 
Braden Messick. Congrats on the new watch, Braden. That's awesome, man. I'm glad to be able to get this out to you. Stick around for just a minute and we'll uh, let you know what you got to do for me to ship this your way. Now, for the Dumas that we talked about today, along with the custom strap from Armilla Straps, the strap, by the way, is a 20 mil strap, so this will not work with the Dumas, but hopefully you have something else that'll go with it. But the winner of the Dumas and the Armilla Strap is Gary Yap. Congratulations, Gary. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy this one. So, Again, big congratulations to both of you guys. Just need you to email me at time to go 1978 at gmail.com with your shipping info, and I'll get these out right away. So big thanks to everyone that entered. I'll definitely be doing more giveaways here on the channel. Keep an eye out for those as well as lots of other watch-related content. Appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.